uh, HMS um, uh, Plumper was a uh, typical Royal Navy warship of the time which served here on the Pacific Station in the late 50s and early 60s and was engaged in surveying work. Um, she's, she's often associated with the name of Captain Richards. Captain Richards um, did, a, did, uh, did a number of, of important surveys. Uh, he later went stayed in the in the surveying hydrographic service and became the the first uh, Royal Navy uh, hydrographer when he when he returned to England and uh, there's been a book published last year uh, with with um, with his uh, large sections of his journals it's interesting uh, he was out here of course like uh, the crew of these of, of these ships stayed out here for for a couple of years. So he he brought his wife out. So Mrs. Plumper was here too, and we've got photo, photographs of Mrs. Plumper. Um, correction, Mrs. Richards. Sorry. <laughs> so what's what's interesting about the model? Well, first of all, we can see copper sheathing uh, on on the on the underwater hull. And that was to um, try to ward off the depredations of teredo worms and and barnacles. Um, we can see that she's, she's again a vessel that marking the transition from sail to steam. She's, she's got a steam engine, um, that big tall funnel, she's got a single screw. She probably spent a lot of her time under sail. Um, she's, she's a bark rig because she's got um, yards on the first, on the foremast and mainmast, but not on, uh, uh, on the mizzen. Um, you can see she's got a number of boats. Uh, now these were used uh, in surveying and Bill Ballinan is showing her towing one of these boats. So when they were doing a survey, they would go up the coast and they'd anchor somewhere and then they'd send these, these boats off with a couple of surveyors and a crew uh, sort of for the day and they would make notes, observations, they would take measurements uh, using sextants uh, of the dis uh, to determine the distance between points by, by angles. You know, they take an angle and they'd be subsequently work out uh, what the distance is. And in the winter time, they would uh, spend uh, uh, working up their surveys and and producing uh, producing charts. It's interesting. There there was in fact the British Army had an engraving um, facility over in New Westminster, and there were some charts made uh, uh, printed locally, but. Uh, most of the work that was done by Richards and his surveyors went back to England and, and was turned into, well, they, they, uh, they produced uh, 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 the surveys and the rough charts and they, then they were engraved uh, in England as charts. These little white things that are along the, uh, along the gunnels here are hammocks. Of course, the, the men slept in hammocks and during the day the, uh, the hammocks were all neatly stowed up here. It's partly a hygiene issue, I think, uh, but it's, uh, it's one of the many uh, interesting details uh, of this marvelous model. A plumper, of course, was a, a warship, and we can see she's got um, two large guns, uh, one of the forecastle one aft sort of um, lashed on their gun carriages, and then she's got a small, uh, she's got some small guns uh, on deck uh, behind the, these gun ports. And she was engaged in some conservatory uh, activities on the coast, uh, sort of uh, um, maintaining and, uh, uh, and, and asserting the, the authority of the, uh, of the government uh, on the coast. So although, now she was succeeded by, by another survey ship, uh, HMS Herald, uh, which was really uh, more suitable uh, as a survey vessel. Uh, Richards and his officers were never all that happy with uh, with Plumper. Nevertheless, she she did a lot of good work. Um, so, Richards then uh, was responsible for the first sailing directions uh, published about the British Columbia coast. That is, uh, books that would, that told mariners about uh, hazards on the coast and and suitability of harbors and so on. Um, his one of his officers was a Lieutenant Maine. M -E -Y -N -E, um, and uh, Maine published a book uh, two years uh, in British Columbia and Vancouver Island, which uh, was recently uh, reprinted and was, it's, it's got quite a lot of interesting descriptions uh, uh, of, of, the, uh, of BC uh, in the uh, 18, 1860s.